Mrs. Menendez went to Dr. Summerfield and explained to her that Dr. Ozeal had indicated that he was concerned about Eric and Lyle being narcissistic or sociopathic, and she asked him to define the terms and that he showed her what the criteria was. He said that they, any narcissism that might exist would be primarily because of patterning after Jose, and he indicated that he didn't believe that they were sociopathic. So it was just a response to a question she had generated by Dr. Ozeal based on his treatment of Eric and Ron Menendez. She asked what his opinion was. He said that he didn't think they fit the criteria. Well, his opinion is not the issue. This is her expression of concern regarding the defendants. This is a specific uh, statement of concern that she expressed to the therapist. What time frame was this? This happened about a month before the murders. And in addition to that, Dr. Summerfield said that he had spoken to Kitty Menendez several months before that regarding her concern about their sociopathy. And that comports, I believe, with the, the waiver signed by uh, Eric Menendez regarding the Dr. Ozeal sessions with him that covered the January through February 1989, in which uh, Dr. Ozeal was given permission to let the parents know that the brothers had a big problem with Our, social pass. Lamanin has never signed any waivers, and he wasn't seen to Dr. Ozeal. Kitty Menendez indicated that she was worried about Eric and Lyle, that uh, she was concern for the lack of conscience, their narcissism, and their sociology. Dr. Uh, Summerfield indicated that since he did not actually treat the defendants, he could not render his own personal opinion. But the relevant portion is the, the um, victim state of mind. That was her relationship with the defendants, and that was her statement regarding how she viewed the two defendants. My concern is that this now really is the credibility of Dr. Ozeal and the competency of Dr. Ozeal again, and not how would Mrs. Menendez understand sociopathy, and clearly she didn't. So it doesn't reflect her opinion. She is asking Dr. Summerfield if he agrees with Dr. Ozeal. What I recall Dr. Summerfield saying when Ms. Lansing and I first interviewed him was that he looked it up and he showed her how given the descriptions she had given him over the months about her sons and how they reacted and how they interacted, that they clearly didn't fit the description of sociopath. He told her that and showed her that, and that was the end of the conversation. She may have had a real concern, particularly with regard to Lyle, would have had to have related to something that happened long, long before. There's no indication that it's anything more than just a passing inquiry, and there's no indication that after having discussed it with Dr. Sandfield, she still had any concerns. Based on what has been presented to me, the court finds that uh, the probative value of uh, this information in regards to her state of mind and concern regarding the conduct of the defendants is relevant and highly probative, and the court would permit it. What you have now allowed is for Dr. Ozeal, who has the credibility of a donut hole. Well, that's up to you to argue to the jury. I take sociopathy no longer has any such prejudicial impact when it comes in this way. I also recall this court telling us on numerous occasions when it came to the testimony of this witness that he would not be allowed to relay such information as that Mrs. Mrs. Menendez told him specifically that during the years that her children was growing up, she took all her anger and frustration out on them. As far as a sociopath reference, it's much different than the issue that is now before the court, which is the state of mind of Mrs. Menendez, what she was thinking at various times, specifically the times at or near the time the killings occurred. And this was an event that uh, was within a month of, of that uh, killings. In about August of 1988, Penny Menendez expressed her concern about the brothers having done the residential burglaries in Calabasas. She asked for Dr. Summerfield to refer her to a psychologist who could help the defendants. And it was Dr. Summerfield's belief that since Dr. Ozeal was the closest one to Beverly Hills, they went with Dr. Ozeal. February of 1989, Mrs. Menendez expressed her concern about the sociopathy. July 19th, 1989, about a month before the killings, she expressed her concern. She said she was worried about Eric and Lyle. She was concerned for their lack of a conscience, their narcissism, and their sociopathy, and asked Dr. Summerfield to explain to her what sociopathy meant. 